Almost by default, every New Hartford Whitesboro clash carries great meaning. Yesterday's baseball matchup, though, had even greater significance for the Warriors and Spartans. For the very first time, St. John's commit Avery Cook squared off against University of Notre Dame verbal commit Roman Kimball. We're really close. Our family's been close for years. I mean, we grew up together pretty much, and it's just great that we're both competing now in the varsity level and going against it at each other. Whitesboro head coach Tom Magellino was impressed by what he saw from both sides. Oh, that was a nice pitcher's duel. I mean, we had guys bringing it, and, uh, you know, a lot of key at bats in certain situations, you know, where it could be one run, two run type of game. Kimball embraced the challenge. It was a lot of fun facing off against him uh, in the box and on the mound. Um, got him the first time, he got me the second time, and uh, hit him the third time, which <laughs> I guess is a little rough because uh, he might beat me up later. <laughs> For a few hours, the two were able to put their friendship aside. We joke around and stuff. I mean, we're going to keep it loose before the games, but when it's game time, obviously you want to focus in and just throw our games. Cook could feel the energy inside Joe Core Memorial Field. There's a lot of people here, a lot of students from Whitesboro, New Hartford. I mean, it was just overall just a great game. Round one went to Cook and the Warriors, and Kimball is now looking to settle the score. Watch out. <laughs> um, Going to try and get the ball over the plate again for him. Uh, hopefully strike him out, get him out, um, just uh, do my thing out there. Cook hopes Kimball keeps progressing with the Spartans. Just stay humble. He's got a bright career ahead of him, and I just want, I just want to see him do the best that he can and just... Keep it going. Their next meeting is scheduled for May 6th in Whitesboro.